Hello everybody, it is Romy's Tech Reviews and this is my comeback video after about a year of not being active. Um, I'm very sorry that I wasn't active but I'll try to be a little bit more active in answering your questions and your messages. So I just want to thank you guys for subscribing. Today's video is going to be how to root the LG MS690. If you have watched um, my previous videos, you can see that I already posted one of these videos but that video is now outdated and that method does not work anymore so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to um, root it now since there is an easier method now so obviously this method is more known now and a lot of people um, know about it so um, it might not be as useful but for those that want to learn how to root this phone then hopefully it's useful for them so alright um, I'm not sure on how many phones this works on because I've only tried it on this phone but um, it does for a fact work on this phone so what you do is obviously sorry unlock your phone and hold on let me just clear some stuff here alright what you're gonna do is download an application called Gingerbreak. Gingerbreak is basically a root application for gingerbread and although this is um this isn't gingerbread like this one i think was either 2.2 or 2.1 but it isn't gingerbread but it does the application does definitely work for this so um to download gingerbread the easiest way i would have to say is to transfer it from your computer to your phone or actually um no that's not the easiest way the easiest way would be through for shared to get to 4Shared, you can easily use your browser down here. And up here in the address bar, just search 4Shared. You can either search it on Google or just type 4Shared.com, like you see here. 4Shared.com. Just click on 4Shared. Now, for this um, website, you need to be signed up in order to download their files. But they do have a lot of useful files, like from 4Shared you can download all kinds of applications that you would normally have to pay for. You can just download them for free by searching the name of the application followed by .apk. So yeah, the, this site is very useful. But like I said, you have to be signed up to um, download their files, but it's really easy to sign up. You just um, Here I have my email signed in, but you would just click register and you quickly register and then you can download the files. Okay, so once you register, you just click on the search bar and you type in ginger space bread dot apk. APK is the application extension, so gingerbread dot apk. Just click search. Oh god. Whoops, did I just seriously search gingerbread? I'm so sorry. I'm just like, I'm crazy right now. I'm sorry. I meant gingerbreak. Gingerbreak.apk. Make sure you um, add the .apk. Alright, so there should be like at least one because um, sometimes they get deleted. So there should be at least one that's like looks like this just gingerbread and, and has the APK extension so you just click on it obviously this is easier if you have your Wi-Fi turned on so once you click on it you see a website like I mean a page like this and you just click well if you're already signed in it'll just automatically start the timer for you but if not it'll ask you to log in to preview the file so you should log in in order to download it so we're just gonna wait then once it's done timing I mean, you know, the 20 second timer is done. You can just click click here to download this file. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to click on it. Okay, maybe like really tricky. I'm not sure why it's not pressing. Hold on a second. Uh. Okay, I finally got it. I don't know why it took forever to click on it, but once you click on it, it should say download started and you should have it up here. Once it's completed, it should say download complete and you just click on it. 
and it should ask you to install the application. You obviously click install and it'll install it. Once it's done, it'll say application installed. Now you can open it, but I'm not gonna open it because there are another there is another step to do before you root your phone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on done and you're gonna go into your settings. Once you're into your settings, you're gonna go applications, development, and make sure USB debugging is checked. It'll ask you if you want to allow USB debugging and you just click OK. Once you have that, make sure it's checked and also make sure that you have an SD card inserted and mounted into your phone. Once you have those two things, you find your um, ginger break application that you downloaded. You click on it and it'll load up and it'll, it'll tell you make sure you have an SD card inserted and mounted and that USB debugging is enabled. Once you have that you just click OK and you press root device. Now I'm not going to press it because I already rooted my device um, and I don't want to you know reroute it and everything but once you press root device it should like start the process and it'll tell you that once it's done your phone will reboot on its own. So once you click it it should basically um, reboot and everything and once it starts up again your phone will basically be rooted and you will have an application called super user once you see super user that means you are now rooted and um, if you are looking to root your phone to delete bloatware from metro pcs you can just download an application also from 4shared on 4shared you can just search up system app remover dot apk let me see if my camera wants to focus. I don't think it wants to, but it's called System App Remover. Oops, wrong one. Okay, um, in System App Remover, the name is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, when you have bloatware from Metro PCS, it takes up a lot of space and it, sometimes it wastes battery. So using this application, you can remove those bloatwares. All you have to do is you open it, um, you click on system apps over here on the bottom. If my camera wants to focus, system apps. Well, it's the right button and it says system apps. So you just click on that and you find the application you want to remove. I'm not going to remove anything, but I'll just like give you an example. Just find something you want to remove. Just click on it and you press uninstall. Uninstall the app and you press yes and that's it. And it'll uninstall anything for you. Even if, you know, things that can't be normally uninstalled, it'll uninstall it for you. So, that is how you root your phone. It is actually pretty freaking easy. So, um, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you have any questions, you can comment or message me. And yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a nice day.